Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays, the collection. Today I'm going to show off the uh, Indicator movies that I have. Um, Indicator is a company from the UK, that's United Kingdom Kids, in Mario, England. And uh, it's an awesome company, they show a lot of older Columbia Pictures releases and uh, independence and they do some great cover art great essays and supplemental features in them and I don't have a whole lot got maybe a little mm, a little stack like that but I'm building up every day finding some great releases um, so let's get right to it and I'm gonna show you some first off is Ministry of Fear this is Indicator Series 102, Spine 102, and uh, this is a movie by Fritz Lang. Uh, this was in my unboxing video recently, I just got it, and uh, incorrectly said it was from 1946, it's actually 44, I'm sorry for you guys keeping count, you got me. So, Fritz Lang, it's got Ray Milan, Ray Milan in it, Marjorie Reynolds, uh, it's based on a Graham Greene story. Uh, Graham Greene wrote a lot of like spy thrillers, uh, mystery, man on man r running from something, a lot of interesting uh, stories back then, um, and a lot of them has been turned into picture uh, movies, uh, such as Green for Danger, uh, a little old movie called The Third Man, I don't know, like Orson Welles, something, uh, Odd Man Out, and uh, this one, Ministry of Fear. So yeah, it's, I, I can't wait to open this up and watch it. I've been wanting to watch it forever. Here's a uh, box set starring one of, the, one of my favorite Western stars, cowboys of all time, Randolph Scott. This is the Five Tall Tales, Bud Buttaker and Randolph Scott at Columbia, 1957 to 1960. And uh, it's got the tall T, the shit decision at sundown. Buchanan rides alone. Ride lonesome and Comanche station. And this is a beautiful box set. Um, this is a number. This was a limited edition box. Uh, this is number three thousand three hundred and twenty-three of six thousand. So I got this one. So it's a, it's a really beautiful release. Um, very hard. Uh, durable box which is which is going to stand up to a lot of you know use well made is what I'm trying to say it's got a beautiful booklet cool picture of Randolph Scott there this is Bud Boddicker the director and uh, it's a it's a really nice booklet it's one of the nicest booklets I've seen in a set so far it's 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 almost like an actual book. I mean, it's, it's, got, it's really nicely bound. Um, it's got each of these movies. Uh, a couple of these are dual movies where it's in the two movies in one. This is Tall t uh, The Tall T. And it also has Decision at Sundown in there. Here's one of my personal favorites. Ride Lonesome. Great movie. Highly recommend it. Comanche Station from 1960. Let's see. And then Ride Lonesome, I believe, has Buchanan Ride the Lone. So there you go, guys. I do, I recommend it. Um, I got it last summer. And it um, kind of got me on a uh, Randolph Scott um, spree where I was hunting down all kinds of Randolph Scott uh, videos and stuff so I really had fun tracking all those down and watching them um, I'm later on I'm gonna do a video about Randolph Scott um, and show all the movies I have of him but this is that big set and highly recommend that guys next up is another movie by Fritz Lang this is the big heat now this is a phenomenal movie this is a great film noir from 1953 uh, 
It's based on a uh, Saturday Evening Post serial by William P. McGivern. Uh, it's got Glenn, Flo Glenn Ford. God, I'm getting tongue-tied. Gloria Graham and Joycelyn Brando in there. It's also got a young Lee Marvin. So it's it's about a good cop turned turn bad revenge, uh, gangsters, revenge. Just It's awesome. It's a great movie. Now next up, I got some... These are actually my first indicator movies. They didn't have the box with them. They were just the discs themselves, the Blu-ray discs. Or actually, they're DVDs. But they have a great picture on them. Uh, this is what really got me uh, getting indicators. Because I, I had no idea what indicator movies were like. So I kind of got this. This was a great deal. I got this for like $12. And it's four movies. It just doesn't have the box. Um, the New Centur Centurions. Uh, George, George C. Scott. It's like a cop movie. It's awesome. And we got the Stone Killer. I believe that has uh, Charles Bronson in it. It's also another great movie. They look great. This one's The Lady from Shanghai. Another film noir. This is directed by Orson Welles and it has Orson Welles in it. Rita Hayworth, his wife at the time, and a movie called See No Evil. It's where a blind girl gets attacked in her house. Her family gets murdered. She can't see. The killer's in there coming back to kill her because you know she was left alive. Really good movie. See No Evil. Like I said, I got a good deal on those and kind of started my indicator. Thing. So I really appreciate that seller that sold those really cheaply to me. Uh, next up is a great disc. This is a two disc Blu-ray set of Night of the Demon. A movie by Jacques, Jacques Tourneur. It's got Dana Andrews, Peggy Cummings. And... Uh, it's a great movie. It's it's pretty creepy. It's got two different versions in there. It's got the pre-release version, and it's got the U.S. re-release reissue version. And it's been uh, restored. It's also got the original U.K. cut and Curse of the Demon the original U.S. theater three theater theatrical cut. So. So yeah, this has got a lot to it, man. A lot. I'm not even sure if I've seen all the stuff on it yet, but it's a great movie, 1957. It's it's cool that it had all the different versions in there because it was heavily edited when it was showed in the UK, and then it was released in the US at a edited version, and then it was reissued later on, some years later, and they included some more scenes that were cut previously. So it kind of basically gives you like four different cuts of the movie. So, you know, gives you all to see what was cut and what, what they thought was bad. Uh, and finally, guys, the last movie. This was a movie directed by Dennis Hopper, starring Dennis Hopper. It, it's an awesome movie. It's hard, it's hard to uh, describe. It's got a lot of cool people in it. Dean Stockwell, Michelle Phillips, uh, Peter Fonda, Don Gordon... Uh, the director Sam Fuller was in it, and singer Chris Christopherson is in it. So it's kind of basically showing the making of a movie and all the pitfalls and all the problems, and it, it's in it, in a little bit more. It's a little free form. He kind of followed uh, Easy Rider with this movie. Um, so he was on a. So Dennis Hopper is kind of an underrated director. I mean, he really. He's known for his acting, but he, he did a few good movies. He did that movie in, like, 1990 uh, with Don Johnson and... Uh, what's her name? Gosh, what is it called? Um, it's really good, though. Uh, it's something like The Big Easy or The Big Heat or... Uh, no, nah, it's not The Big... I don't know. It's called something, something to do with heat. But anyways, he was a good director, and um, I got this recently also, and it, it's a great movie. So there you go, guys. There's some indicator releases that I have so far. Um, slowly getting some good 
good ones here and there. Um, so yeah, you just got to keep your eyes out and uh, you'll find them. So guys, that's about it. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I've, I've got a lot of cool stuff to show you in future episodes. Um, hit that like button and uh, share the videos if you want. Um, that's fine. Give me some comments too. What's your favorite indicator films? Um, uh, any hints, any clues, any comments, just information, just Go ahead and comment, guys. It's fun to it's fun to read comments, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Be cool. Watch good movies.